sweat has really helped me to actually see results finally is counting calories and that is big that is huge that's a huge um, revelation for me I always knew that when I counted calories I did well and when I didn't count calories that's usually when I gained or I was on a plateau so-called plateau um, and it's really been the the key that has caused me to have success. Now what has what I find really helps is um, using my fitness pal. So I'm just gonna move you back over here back to my fitness pal. Now this is what I use. It's a free service online. Um, you just go to myfitnesspal.com and this is the home page. Now what you do is you just click on where it says food and what's really cool about my fitness pal is it remembers your common um, foods that you would eat on a regular basis so this is my um, day for today and what's really cool is if you add a food for example what I like because I'm doing Shelly and Extreme right now if I type in in the database here if I type in Shaleen Extreme and hit search, it's going to actually pull up all the foods. Look at that. All the foods that are in the it's trying to focus. All the foods that are in the food guide from Shaleen Extreme and look at it all. You got your burns, your um, your burned meals, your lunches, your just everything. It's cool. And then all you have to do is click on one of them, hit add food to your diary, and it will actually enter it in. So that's why you'll see on the first one here for breakfast this morning, I had the Shaleen Extreme Burn Breakfast, the mozzarella, spinach, and tomato omelet. And because I'm in the push uh, phase right now, I'm allowed to have an extra half a English muffin and uh, a whole egg added to that omelet. So that's cool um, yeah so that's kind of what you do, you enter it all in it takes just a couple clicks once it remembers you, what you're um, having every day and then it, it tallies all your your total calories, your proteins, your carbs, your fats at the bottom here um, Your I put in fiber and it just calculates it all out for you which is awesome so it's really been keeping me on track, which I love, because that's where I see results. Um, the other thing that's cool <laughs> that I want to talk about, this book right here, the um, Shaleen Extreme Fat Burning Food Guide. This is an excellent book. Um, I have been eating better than ever since uh, I started Shaleen Extreme. I thought I was eating good before but this has really opened my eyes to some new foods and I really, really enjoy it. One thing I want to mention for any of you people that are uh, doing Chilean Extreme, uh, maybe who have done P90X before this, you're going to notice that your calories have really been reduced from what you're used to with P90X. That's partly because uh, the program is shorter you were not working out for an hour. So keep that in mind. I know a lot of people are like they're freaked out when they see, you know, their calories are have dropped by about five hundred calories, but you know, you're working out less um, amount of time. But anyways, because I've done that, I'm like my weight's dropping. So this is awesome. Now the other thing that you have to be careful of when you go from phase one to phase two Keep in mind that that doesn't mean that all of a sudden you get to have cereal every day. Because <laughs> when I first looked at this book, I thought, oh cool, once I get to the push phase, I can have cereal every day. That's what I was thinking. Uh-uh. No can do. If you check on page 9 <laughs> of the food guide, it'll explain this. So you might want to, after you've done the first phase, go back look at the food guide again and, and 
check it out. Okay, so really what you're allowed is one push breakfast for the week. That means if you want to have cereal, you're only allowed to have that bowl of cereal one time during the week. Okay? It's fine. I'm fine with that now. I'm used to it. I'm glad I saw that before I started because, um, yeah, that would have really been, that would have really bugged me after. So keep that in mind. You're also allowed one push dinner, one push um, breakfast, like I said, uh, one push snack, and one push lunch. So that doesn't mean you get to have all, you know, the push suppers and stuff on the second phase. The second phase is called the push phase, by the way. Okay, so the same thing's going to happen when you get into the third phase, the lean phase. You're going to be allowed um, one lean dinner, one lean snack, one lean lunch, and one lean breakfast. Same with um, a push breakfast and all, all, the, all the push um, meals as well, but only one of each phase. Um, you're still, your majority of your meals are all going to come from the burn phase, um, part of the diet guide. So I just thought I'd mention that because it's something that I almost overlooked and maybe you didn't and that's great, but I almost missed that and I can see where that's important um, to to follow those guidelines to the letter. Um, if you want to get the best results from the program, follow it the way it was designed and um, you will see awesome results. I can hardly wait to get into the, the next phase. I have um, the rest of this week and then one more week after that and I'll be in the lean phase so I'll, I'll give you an update then to see what happens um, there. So I guess that's about all I want to mention today. Have a great day. I'm looking forward to my Shakeology arriving any day and I'll let you know how that goes too. To close out, I was going to say um, invest in your older self which is what I often say. <laughs> But today I think I'm going to say this over here. <laughs> Believe in yourself, trust the process, and change forever. All right. Can you see that? And there's my coach, Tracy. Hey, Tracy. All right, everybody. Have a great week. Bye-bye.